How hard is this to pour self-leveling concrete? This is my playground, and in this video, guys, I'm going to show you how I've done it. If you have searched and found this video, it's because you're wondering not only how hard it is, but also how it's done. Quite possibly, you are an unexperienced person and trying to figure out if you could do this yourself. In this video, I'm going to try to answer just that. These are the things that you have to take out if you want to make it smooth, but this is not why you're installing the self-leveling compound as much as if you look at the corners, that corner is lower and that corner is lower. Let me show you how to measure for it and how to prepare the floor for the pouring of the concrete. First, you have to have a very, very thorough cleaning. So what you're going to use, you're going to use a vacuum cleaner first. Vacuum everything that you can off the floor and then the big stuff that the vacuum cleaner doesn't want to pick up, just use a broom. To measure, you're going to need either a measure tape or a level that has um, markings on it. So this level has markings on it. You can see them over here. Uh, and you're going to need a self-leveling uh, laser. Well, this is the cheapest one that you could find. There are better ones out there, but this is the cheapest one that I could find. I had it already. It's for installing TVs, putting things on the wall that are straight. But this will do. Visually, you could find the highest spot in the room just by looking at it. You have to start from there, from the highest spot. Once you turn on your laser level, just put your normal level on it and get the first marking. So next to the level, I have 14. Once you got your baseline for 14, move this further away and then you're going to start seeing that here I have 14 and a half. So from here to here, I dropped the half a centimeter. If I'm going to go even further, I'm still 14 and a half. If I'm going to go over here, I'm still 14 and a half. So from there, from the highest point, all the way over here, I lost half a centimeter. You can mark on the floor uh, 0.5. That's how much I'm dropping from the center, which is the high point to here, 0.5. This is going to help do the math to see how many bags you're going to need. Same rule applies going the other way around. Here again, I'm at 14, and I'm going to start moving it back and see. And then here I'm going back and I'm back to 14. Uh, here I'm, I'm, I'm 15, so I have 1.0 difference over here. I have a very, very big dip over here. 15, 15, 15, 15 and a half. So here I have 1.5. And you have to do that all around the room. Find your highest spot. And this is just guidelines. Nobody can do the measurements 100% accurate. All you have to do is just use them as a guideline and when you start pouring concrete, you'll have a better understanding of where goes more and where you're gonna have less. After you've done a thorough cleaning, you're gonna need to put some kind of like compound that's gonna help uh, make the dust stick to the ground and the concrete stick to the actual concrete over here. So uh, this one is the compound, you can find it um, anywhere at any uh, store. It's easy to find, just ask for it. Um, it is highly recommended to pour it so that way uh, the two cements, which are different like composition, will stick to each other and I'll also will keep the uh, dust down. But always do another cleaning before you pour this thing in. Today is the big day. Water here. All my tools are at the door because we are going to stage over here first. We have the concrete bags over here. We're going to mix them into these bags. Very important side note, if it's possible, try to pour multiple buckets at a time. If your material allows you to, because this is a fast working material, you could fill up six or seven buckets, five buckets, four buckets, have them next to you, have somebody pre-mix them before you pour them, so you pour them all on top of each other. If you do just one bucket at a time, as I've done in this video, you're going to have mixed results. Uh, the compound dries out so fast by the time you get from one corner to the room to the other you might have concrete that it's already hardened and if that's the case it won't mix and it won't flow ideally a big bucket like a big barrel will work a lot better but you're talking about 
10 bags, it's like a quarter ton plus water. So that's really, really heavy. Also even better, if you could have this compound or self-leveling concrete delivered by a truck and pour it with a hose, it's gonna be absolutely amazing. This works, but it can be done a lot better. The moment of truth. Uh, first time I'm gonna go in and see what's gonna happen 24 hours later. 24 hours later. And it's still wet. It is hard. Let's give it a try. Of course, I'm gonna try socks on. This is the wettest part over here, so if it dried out over here, it dried out everywhere. And uh, this is what we're having. Even though the lines, you could clearly see them from the bucket. So this is where I poured, right? Because I had to pour in patches. It uh, looks pretty good. Here is a little bit of a mess. It was a little bit of a high spot over here. And it seems that the buckets didn't want to fill it up. But otherwise, uh, it looks good. It's all kinds of shades and colors. Uh, but... You know what, for do it yourself first, it's pretty good. This is something that I'll have to fix. I've been trying to use that uh, roll, specialized to help you take the bubbles out, but it actually made it worse, so definitely gonna take that out. A little bit of polishing. Uh, this is one of the hardest things to do. Um, I've seen a lot of videos and a lot of people sounded very enthusiastic about pouring your, your own concrete. Um, to be very honest with you, I would recommend not to do it. Not that it's bad, this is actually not bad. It's much better than it was before, but it is, um, I'm gonna cover that in a different video. A uh, Couple of reasons why you shouldn't do it. But I'm happy with how it turned out. It's, it's, it's flat, which was my, my goal. But you could definitely see it that I poured it in, in sections. And uh, it's uh, definitely different shades everywhere. 